<clears throat> hi, this is Steve Irwin, and I'm here to say hi. So, hi everyone. Uh, my first interview in quite a long time. Well, I haven't done one yet. Uh, <laughs> first interview in a long time because I've obviously done many interviews here on Earth. Um, excuse, you know, people um, will probably say, oh no, that's not Steve Irwin. He doesn't speak like that. He doesn't sound like that. No, guys, people understand we're in this physical body. We're using everything of this human physical body. Uh, the girls out there somewhere <clears throat> um, applying around uh, while we are here. Um, I cannot be what you want me to be as you remember me. So I just want to get everything straight. Um, because I don't want... If there is anyone becoming disappointed or emotional or um, angry or frustrated, seriously, then switch off this particular video. I don't care. For those who understand the situation, who are hearing the words of us speaking, great. Good to have you here, good to have you hear me. Okay, where do I start? Well, I crossed over, ironically, wouldn't you say? Right in this, <laughs> right in the heart. Um, I always knew uh, I wouldn't die by and through a crocodile. Why? It would be. That would have probably be irony, but not really. This is the manifestation of irony. My death. Um, I died very young from the perspective of naivety in the experience of myself in the dimensions, the last thing I expected um, was to still be alive. Um, the first thing I did, of course, was go check on my wife and my children. Um, wasn't great. I didn't like it. I cried, yes, in the dimensional existence after having seen them. It was horrible, terrible, um, difficult. Uh, seeing them because it's not a great experience, especially if they can't hear you. Um, tried making contact, um, they couldn't hear me. Saying to them, I'm okay, I'm alive, you don't die, but no one hears you in this world, which is interesting. So, I'm grateful for this interdimensional portal, so I'm able to come through and communicate with you, because God damn it, imagine you're dead, and no one can hear you, and you want to speak. Um, it's tough. Uh, so this is the first time that dimensional beings are able to come through and just speak as themselves. So of course, as you've heard before, all the other channelings and psychics and things were in cages, and you couldn't come through there and speak at all. Um, so after I died, guess where I placed myself? Nature. Um... I have a completely different view of the animal kingdom of nature because I experience myself as them. I communicate with them as myself, which has never been possible before. So in terms of my experience, it has been the greatest ever, and I'm grateful for it. Many people would think death is such a awful event that takes place, yeah, the moment, you know, you go through your emotional attachments, uh, retrievals, then after that you realize the situation, you know, see, my wife, my children are great, they will be fine, um, and I am fine, and I will be going on expressing myself, and in terms of my children, you know what, they're not I'd have them go and experience themselves as what they would want to do, you know, not go the whole route of following in the Father's footsteps just because I've died in, in um, I don't know, like honoring me in some form. Kids, do what you want to do with your life. Do what you enjoy. Um, that's the message I have for you, and I'm with you guys. Occasionally I come and check up, but you are fine, and I'm fine, I'm alive, and I'm enjoying myself. Um, I enjoy sharks, strange enough, the most beautiful creatures, um, very difficult, they're almost like these structural resonances, uh, very specific, 
Um, oh, I enjoy the specificity of situations. Um, what else? Spoken to the crocs a little bit. Um, not extensively. As much. I spent enough time with them, wouldn't you say? Yeah. Um, I've communicated with them. Uh, I've become them. I've spent, experienced myself as dolphins, bears, lions, tigers, panthers, wolves, fish, um, insects, etc. Crocs, of course. Um, panda bears, seals, etc. Polar bears. Much, and I communicate with them every day. So, we're going to be starting a series on the interviews, which is where I will come and express and do some interviews with some of the animal kingdoms. That would be great. Um, you can hear their perspectives, so you can do a swap around in the body. Like I come through, and the polar bear comes through, and I come through, polar, so we'll do a one on one interview live for you guys on nature. That would be great. Um, <clears throat> I had some many interesting experiences in terms of learning how nature really works. You know, we take so much for granted in this world. Um, I just see the work that I've done here on Earth. It was great. I loved what I do. I wouldn't have done anything else. And guess what? I'm still continuing what I'm doing. But a greater world has opened up. That greater world is what has been blinded by and through and for human beings on Earth. And this is what we're bringing forth here, you know, opening your eyes, opening your ears, to understand that things in this world are alive. They aren't just things. They are you and I, and they're able to communicate, speak, and they experience. And the animal kingdom is actually more aware than human beings themselves, which is an eye-opener. It's interesting that those things that we take for granted the most are actually the most intelligent species in existence. Um, and then we go and say, but aliens are. No, it's right before our eyes. It's the animal kingdom. They're extensive in their support for human beings. It's amazing. Um, how they assist with the unnecessary, uh, unnecessary emotional retrievals, um, retractions, um, put sound bomb manifestations in human beings occasionally, assisting them with the release of emotions, feelings. Um, but at the moment, of course, they're compounding everything, so that's swapped around. Um, there's been much changes, much, much events. Oh, and for everyone who wants to also know, um, Timothy Treadwell is with me as well. Uh, he was, he incarnated as a bear um, at the moment he was uh, killed. Uh, when, he, when he was killed by the bear, that same bear, he, when he died, he became the bear. And then they went and killed that bear. They killed him again. Um, <clears throat> so Timothy Williams, another bear, and he has been there. So recently we got him out of there. Um, so Timothy Treadwell is with me as well. So we're the two nature dudes um, in the animal kingdom and <clears throat> nature, trotting around with Timothy Treadwell and Steve Irwin. Hey, maybe that would just be the heading of our trotting around with. Timothy Treadwell and Steve Irwin, Nature Updates. Okay, this is Steve Irwin. As you're able to see, I'm enjoying myself very much. And we'll bring you guys some perspective on what's going on in existence from the animal kingdom and nature. Okay, guys, enjoy.